Hello chat. I'm just going to read through your names and uh, I'll see if you can hear me or not. We've got Christos Harris says dad. Uh, I'm alright Christos. <laughs> He's uh, the first in the chat. We've also got Tristan Stewart. Danu. Sexy RJK. Afro K. We've got Naomi. We've got Georgia as well. Flying Ace. We've got Driftworks, FRL, we've got Bull Potato as well. Woke up as soon as possible for the stream and I've just installed Red Dead 2. However, I haven't played it since August 2020, so I don't know what I've missed. I'm trying to think back to August 2020. Um, I don't know if the... Uh, Moonshiners update had been released by then. I don't think it had. You might have missed quite a bit, actually. Lucky Strikes is imagine disliking. Oh, I'm not bothered if anyone dislikes, really, to be honest. Oh, we've got a uh, Simple Whale. Uh, hi, Simple Whale. Why Strike Sam? I have holidays right now. We've got High Fly, Mimi Doge, Brian Emmons, Made in a Metalhead, M95, Jasmine. Who's that in the background? Uh, unfortunately, the noise cancelling isn't perfect. Some people shouting and calling in the background. Now, I do want you to let me know if there are background noises. Honestly, that was pretty loud though, so I'm not surprised it came through. As a place, it's so early, I'm not late this time. Alright, um, I'll just get into the game. And mine's a little blank right now. Usually it helps to just sort of get things rolling. I've been up since 6 a.m. If you don't mind, I'd like to tag along, Heli, but more than likely you'll be busy or something. I'm going to be solo for now. Honestly, I've been very tired out lately. I've been working very hard on stuff. So I'm just going to start off solo at least. I've been working on some uh, videos in the background. There's, uh, there's one for this, actually. I'm not going to spoil it. But I managed to get into a party with some people and I got some amazing content. The thing is, it's all, all of that video is based around voice chat, the party chat. So I'm actually go going through the pain of adding subtitles to that. It's an agonizing job. It's taken forever. But it'll be worth it in the end. Although my hands are kind of achy from it and my mind is a little numbed from it because I've been doing it hours and hours and hours the past couple of days. Jasmine says, I enjoy the Red Dead streams more than GTA. I don't even play Red Dead. Uh, it's the kind of game that sort of lends itself to streaming quite well, I think. Uh, in terms of reading the chat, anyway. And GTA, you've... Oh, where's my camp? <laughs> in GTA, you've just got so much uh, going on, it can be difficult to keep up with a chat. This, uh, a little bit more quiet, a little bit more relaxed. Hold on. Georgia says, I was sleepy, but I'm happy you're streaming. Uh, thanks, Georgia. I hope you haven't been doing too bad lately. Christos Harris says, how are you day being? I uh, haven't had a whole lot going on. Again, I've been working very hard on some stuff in the background, like really hard. Yeah. Unless you've added subtitles to something, you probably can't. I mean, a lot of people will probably hear that and think, hey, that just sounds, you know, what's the big deal? You just type when people speak, but You've got to get down to the split seconds, like milliseconds of when people start to talk. 
and decipher what they're saying. Then you've got bits where people are all talking at the same time and you've got to get all the timings matched up right. And you've got to... It, it takes forever, honestly. I'm currently installing Back for Blood, thought I'd drop by. Uh, thanks, Malen. That's, um, isn't that a new, uh, zombie game or something? Simple Whale, says so Ellie, I made it. Oh, I, I saw you, Simple Whale. Just when this is 1v1 me in Minecraft. Let's see, Eagles plucked. That sort of probably won't come across one of them. Nah, I'm not going to bother skinning him. I don't really know what's new this week either. Is it a shop in Sandini? I could do that pretty easily. And let's see the rest. Probably won't be too hard. Donate a lot of feathers. Bird eggs, collectibles, fossils. I might be able to do some of that. Yeah, unless there's anything particularly interesting going along going on with this event week, I'll probably just uh I'll probably just, you know, do the usual do a couple of daily challenges, collecting stuff. Just grind out that outlaw pass. The main the main reason for these streams really is to uh read the chat. Yeah, it's for spiritual successor to Left 4 Dead. Played it better earlier in the year. I played uh, Left 4 Dead actually. Way back on uh, 360 I played Left 4 Dead. So I might have to give it a go. Is it by the same people or different group? What's the weekly bonuses? I was hoping a chat could uh, let me know if there's anything new going on or... I haven't heard anything yet. Back for Blood kind of reminds me of Re Left 4 Dead, yeah. Bull Potato, so they tried to play Murder Miners last night with Kurt Club, but he wasn't responding to me at all after we agreed a couple of days to do it. Probably busy, yeah. And I don't even know what's going, you know, if he's, uh... At some point, he'll be back in the uh, military. Let's see, what is the special stew? Should have enough stuff to do that. Smell that stew, huh? Delicious. And that is um, another easy bit of XP and gold as well. Mainly doing it for the XP though, so I can just sort of grind up that outlaw pass. Yeah, you can get it raised up doing just tiny little things. Ken QQN says, hi Heli, uh, hi Ken. Made in a metalhead says, you have the same company you made the first Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I might have to do some looking into it then. How is uh, background sound now? Because earlier at the start, there's a lot of people calling out and shouting and yeah, obviously that some of that's going to get picked up. Should be a bit quieter now though. Zero Graphics says, hey Heli, how's things with Thick Boy? Pretty good. I've got a really nice video coming up. Oh, but at the same time, it also means there's a hell of a lot of work for that. I don't mean to drone on about that too much, but God, it's been hard work. I've been subtitling it. It's just, whew, taking forever. It leaves your hands all kind of achy because you know you're doing it for hours, getting everything just right down to the right times, having to work out what everyone's saying and typing it all out. It takes a long time. Bull Potato says the servers are left for Dead One and Two are still up for Xbox One. 
The games are fully supported on Xbox One, however you can't buy it digitally for some reason. That's a bit weird. As a place as he encountered a technical god mode van today, but uh, it took like six missiles to blow up. Doesn't it take like one or two? A uh, technical, you mean like the um, the little pickup truck with a gun on the back? That should only be one missile. So there might have been something funny going on there. Have you tried War Thunder? Yeah, I have tried it before. It didn't really get along with it that much. I find it the controls felt a little weird. It kind of felt like I was just pulling the plane around rather than flying it. I have been told that at helicopters at some point though, so I might give it another go one day. Is it a Red Dead or GTA video? It's a red... I do have a very nice GTA video next week, which I will be dropping teasers for in community posts, and I might even drop a little trailer as well. But the one I've been working so hard on is a Red Dead one, surprisingly. Unfortunately, that probably means a lot of people won't get... won't, you know, click on it just from it being Red Dead alone. But it's... it's a really special one. I don't... I got into a party chat and I, I don't want to spoil it but I got some amazing stuff really fun like honestly I, I was laughing so hard at the end of it I like I was sweating and I was snotting and I was just like pretty much just in tears laughing at it afterwards it was kind of a once in a lifetime thing there's a few helicopters in Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, I think I remember something about... Something with a helicopter in that game. I remember the swamp level, and I remember a few other places. A shopping mall, and some other things. Left 4 Dead 1 or 2 are even supported for the Series X. However, the 360 disc for Left 4 Dead is very rare to get. I might have it somewhere. I'm not sure, especially when it isn't scratched. Oh, a speedo. Yeah, a speedo is only meant to take like one missile as far as I can tell. Okay, so donate some stuff to Crips. Sell stuff to her. I don't know where she is. Don't have any maps either, so those might be a bit awkward. That's easy enough. Okay, let's get to Crips. Gonna have to pat the dog, I think. How has uh, everyone been in the chat, anyway? I wish for special vehicles, speedo, rocket voltic, etc. Worked like the sparrow and spawned instantly by her side. I thought they did spawn pretty nearby. But yeah, I don't think they'll do it quite that quickly like those do. Like the sparrow does, I mean. Right, let's see. Try and even out my amount of feathers. <laughs> I usually just give him a ton of feathers when there's... Uh, the daily challenge should like oh give him 20 things because technically they don't specify you know is it meat is it uh, animals so i just give him a bunch of feathers it's a pretty easy way to get that one fun fact the helicopter in left for dead for one of its levels is the mh53 pavlo my favorite american helicopter oh i know that one Been alright. Another 12 hour shift tomorrow. 12 hours is pretty nasty. What is it you do again? Are you, um, were you a healthcare worker or did you do something else? I, I can't quite remember. Uh, 
How many have I got to give him? 15 of 20. Uh, five more. It's a Western game, there's no shopping malls. I mean, one of the Left 4 Dead said definitely was a shopping mall. I think it might have been the second one. Oh, you work in a crisp factory. Um, I like crisps, so there's, there's every chance you probably worked on some of the stuff I've eaten. We've got Luscious Liz. Hello, everyone. Nice gold amount, Heli. Yeah, thanks, Liz. It's good to have you here. I remember you from a lot of uh, older streams. Yeah, the thing of a gold is I never really get a chance to spend it, so it's just been building up since... Well, almost since the beginning, really. Georgia says I'm fighting some sweats right now. Are they... Uh, probably a stupid question, but I'm guessing they're in GTA rather than Red Dead. Have you seen Wallace and Gromit? Um, I have, yeah. Yeah, background sound is uh, very difficult to get rid of 100% unless you're like padding out the entire room of stuff. And even then, you know, you can't really work miracles with it. I, I am glad you let me know though, because I do want to know how it's sort of going on and, and I know, you know, all right, what, at what sort of level do I have to watch out for it? It was a barcode, uh, and then he invited his friends. Yeah, they always, um, I always find it pretty pathetic when they have to invite like about 20 other people just to join some little fight with one person. Like I can't really imagine going to someone and saying, oh, hey, there's this one player that I'm fighting. Please help everyone come and help. Like I would feel pretty, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty ridiculous doing that. Maybe if there was like 10 people on me and I'm on my own, but to calling a bunch of people where there's like one person after you. It's the same company that makes McCoys, Hula Hoops, etc. Wallace and Gromit is an old American staple. No, it's uh, an English thing, isn't it? The old... Uh, the, we're thinking of the same thing, aren't we? Um... The little animated play figures of the, the dog and the man who likes his cheese and all that. Do sweats even exist in this game? Not so many of them these days, but there used to be quite a few. I'm going to make it all the way over to here. Change the decor. It's another easy little bit of gold and XP. Bombing is a lot better in War Thunder. Yeah, I just found that the plane, the, it felt like I was just sort of, it's hard to describe properly, but all I can really say is it felt like I was just sort of pulling them around rather than steering them. It almost didn't feel like I was in the plane, if that makes any sense. It just felt like I was kind of dragging it about a cursor almost. I probably just needed to change uh, settings a bit. Oh shit. Like ran over a pig there. But yeah, I, I might give it another try. It just didn't leave the best impression for me. And to be fair, helicopters, uh, if they're in, well, it's a very different thing because I only got to toy around with some old planes. I'm applying for a job at my local Jewel Osco Speedway in McDonald's and Heli. If you don't know what Jewel is, it's basically Walmart but it sells 85% food instead of objects and furniture. Well, I hope you have uh, good luck getting a job. Luscious Liz says, yes, I feel you on that one. Haven't been much, haven't been much active in Red Dead lately as the game feels a bit dry. 
Oh, a, a bit dry is an understatement to say the least. <laughs> they, they really don't support it as much as they should. Just little things as well, like we still don't have a Rockstar editor. That would help me so much with thumbnails and, you know, I could make editor videos. It's such a, like, you know, the graphics are incredible on this game. It, it would be a perfect fit for it, but still don't have it about, what is it, three years on now? Sweats in Red Dead, absolutely, but they don't Evo loop like on GTA. Yeah, they, they do up, they, sh they sniper wiggle, they do a lot of things, but some of that stuff in GTA they don't do, yeah. Any tips on making gold fast? Before I would have said uh, daily challenges, but they nerfed them pretty badly. They're still pretty useful to do if they're, you know, really easy stuff that you were going to do anyway. Um, collector roll is good for money, not quite so much for gold, I don't think. It's hard to say. I guess I'd probably still say daily challenges, even though they nerfed them a ton. Sorry I'm late as fuck. Uh, no, you're not too late, Steven. Well, I'm a little bit lost picked the wrong tent. Oh, that might be some stuff to take here. Jim Bob is Jim Bob, says so say Mr. Heroic Helicopter. Uh, thanks, Jim Bob. Yeah, he's pretty early as well. It's only like, I mean, been in this about 20 minutes. Helicopters in War Thunder are pure cancer. In what way is, uh, is the handling bad, or are they really overpowered, or too weak, or... Again, I only gave it a little try, and I only got to try out some planes, so I wouldn't really know. Hi, Dr. Plankton. Nikos is waiting for the GTA Halloween stuff. At this point, I'm not going to deal with the free-run bullshit. Yeah, I heard they were adding some stuff for Halloween, like, isn't it sort of serial killers you come across, or something like that? So, it sounded pretty interesting, I just don't remember exactly what it was. So for like some random events where you come past like crazy killers or something. Is the Outlaw Pass worth it? I suppose it depends how much you play the game. It's mostly just little things, really. If you're fairly actively grinding it, grinding the game bow and doing stuff, you're going to get all your stuff back pretty quickly. So I would, I guess I'd say so, yeah. Hearing about that GTA trilogy is sort of made my schedule a little bit more busy as well because I felt like I'd, I wasn't so sure it would happen you know a lot of the things were just rumors so I felt like I had all this time like all the rest of the year to just do playthroughs of other games now I know I'll probably be doing a playthrough of them so that kind of you know makes things a bit more busy Un unless they're really crap and then I, you know I don't get them but I suppose we'll see. Flying aces on the ground, someone can spawn in a BT-5, rush for cap and then get the guided missiles and kill the entire enemy team. It's mostly the K-50 gets abused. I'm not too familiar with all the lingo of that game, but from the sounds of it, you're saying like they really overpowered the helicopters. I suppose it's different to a GTA where they're just a target for the broomsticks. Made in a metal set, made in a metal head, sorry. Uh, yeah, Christine, the haunted car with a pit 
Oh, the haunted car will appear in the Halloween update. I like the sound of that. And it doesn't does go around without a driver as well. Appears at night behind your character, I think. Yeah, that sounds really nice, actually. I got, I'll have to get some little videos of um, encounters of that. I fear that Red Dead might not get anything at all until next year, since all their attention is focused on GTA, the trilogy, December DLC, expanded and enhanced, and so on. You could be right, yeah. I think they'll put something out for, like, just, oh, get out of the way, would you not? I think they'll put something out for December, but it may well just be some small, tiny thing that's just really so that they can say, well, hey, we put something out. <laughs> Hopefully not, but uh, that's just my guess. He's a thick boy, poor horse. <laughs> I hope nothing spooky attacks me, killers, ghouls, ghastly, sp ghastly spirits, and other assorted horrific entities. If they added like some sort of supernatural stuff in free mode, that could be pretty cool to come across. Or maybe some cameos from uh, other horror games and stuff. Let's say, I don't know, you came across <laughs> Nemesis from uh, Resident Evil, that would be... <laughs> well, for me, because because I play all those games, it would be pretty cool to come across. Might be a bit hard to uh, uh, really go into depth programming him, though. Jim Bob says, I managed to eventually help DMP with some stuff, and I made it into the start and end of one of his recent vids. Um, I think... I think you're on Twitter, aren't you? There's a Jim Bob on there. If that's you, or if you have a Twitter account in general, just DM me the link and I'll uh, take a look at that. Matari says hello. Uh, hi, Matari. Georgia says I'm back. My trashy friends wouldn't help me or invite me to CEO, but I invited each other. What friends are these? Uh, Sounds like you like, have to uh, reconsider if they're friends or not. Who would win an Evo spammer, want to be try hard, or the ghost Chrissy car? Yeah, I I really like the sound of that. I didn't know they were doing that. I thought it was just like sort of a generic killer runs up and stabs you or something, which would have been pretty cool in and of itself. But if they're adding Christine, that that's going to be really nice. Be careful of those cougars, Heli, listen to your horse. I, I will. Another stream or two ago, I was, you know, my horse was just going crazy, and I was just like, what's it doing that for? There's nothing. And then, of course, a cougar jumped on me out of nowhere. <laughs> How long has it been since they last added the limited stock stuff? In uh, Red Dead or GTA? And um, which stuff? Do you mean the Halloween stuff? I'm not really sure. We've got Kevin Postman here. Uh, hi, Kevin. Steven's giving everyone some woo woo. We've got Dragono here as well. Uh, hi, Dragono. Dugono has his own channel. He um, often posts like little glitches and other stuff, so go check that out after the stream. Locus is say project I can't stay in the stream for long. And that's alright. Uh, how have you been doing anyway? I remember you said your uh, your brother was a little ill. Did he have uh, a C virus or something else or I hope you're alright, anyway. I hope I can steal the ghost car so I can say I'm not real towards low levels. Oh yeah, that's one thing. If we're lucky, will we, will we be able to steal the ghost car or is that not going to be a thing? No, it probably won't be possible. We've got Cherno as best here as well. Did you end up seeing the Kajali video? Uh, Kanjali video? 
I haven't got a chance to see that yet. I've been very busy lately. I've been adding subtitles to this Red Dead video I've been working on. Basically, I got into a party chat with some people and got some really funny stuff, but unfortunately, it's just taken forever to add the subtitles. Usually, I wouldn't actually bother, but you, like usually I wouldn't bother with voice chat because it's such a pain in the ass. But I figured, you know, in this video, it's kind of the whole point of the video is for voice chat. So just had to bite the bullet and get all that done. Which is a long and nasty job, to be honest. We've got uh, Game Ovaries. Uh, hi, Game Ovaries. I haven't seen her in a little while now. It's so uh, good to have her back. Let's make her a mod. GTA Jerry says I used to do ghost cars when the RC glitch was a thing. Oh, yeah, I remember there was some kind of glitch where it made you look like you're invisible or something like that. Hope you're having a nice day so far. I'm doing pretty good, yeah. Loka says, yeah, my brother's fine. Oh, wait. Did I take that? I wasn't quite looking. Yeah, his brother's fine. And he, he Loka himself caught the virus, but it's already out of him. That was a couple of weeks. I'm glad you're both doing well anyway. Yeah, I, I remember hearing something wasn't going so well. You know, someone was sick or something or the other. Hold on. Oh shit. I've... Come on back up, come on. I can't see the chat. I don't know if this is even still streaming. My internet's kind of conked out on a lot of stuff. My tablet has gone down. My Xbox has gone down. The capture card still says it's streaming, but I can't really tell if that is the case or not. Whew, this is a bit shit to have in the middle of a stream. I'm just guessing it's still streaming. If it is, you're going to have to bear with me because I can't see the chat because my uh, crappy internet provider is conked out. Or at least the wi fi it has. Let's oh, shit. I did see Cuckler in the chat. Um, he's very heroic. So make sure to sub to him. Oh, wait, I think I'm getting it back. Um, am I getting it back? All right, I've got my chat back and uh, Xbox is back. It's kind of... Oh, fucking hell. The stream's still going? Hold on, let me catch up. Yeah, we've got Cutler, he's a heroic. Heavy, wake up, you've been in a coma for over a year, you need to wake up. Bill Potato says he sent a funny glitch image on Xbox. I'll uh, take a look when I got the time after the stream. Bogard says I've been very invested in Red Dead 2 story and I was wondering if online would be worth grinding out. It's a completely different thing to the story, so I wouldn't go in it expecting that, but you know, you might enjoy it. You could pass for your own voiceover you use. Yeah, I've been told that a couple of times. A few people have said, wow, you sound just like that voiceover you use. Is this still... I'm going to have to catch up on a chat. Is this still uh, streaming? Because I was, I was sure it was going to go down. Like, my Xbox went down, my tablet went down, and I couldn't see the chat. I, like, I sort of said it was still streaming, but I felt like 
Nah, there's no way that's still going, is it? Super early in the morning for me. Uh, sorry to hear that game over, Reese. Oh, Dragono says the stream's here. Brooks says same thing happens to me. <laughs> oh, the stream's still up, really. The accident wasn't your fault, really. Uh, thanks, Kirkler. Loka says I gotta go. Sorry, I wasn't able to stay on. Oh, no, that's all right, Loka. I'm glad you were able to just pop by for a little bit. Show love to the cops, Blue Lives Matter. Uh, I isn't really, uh, I try to steer clear of pol politics. It, you know, it just tends to get people riled up. Don't want to talk about myself too much, but it would appear that glitch videos are the way forward on my channel. I got another video on its way to 1K views again. Finally got a stroke of luck. I'm glad you've been having some good luck lately. For me recently, I've actually had a pretty sharp dropping sub growth. Like, now I'm down to like, well, a lot of smaller content creators would say, what are you complaining about? But like, I'm down to about 400 subs a month. Whereas usually I would be, I would be at more like sort of 2,000 a month. So it's a pretty stark drop. I don't know what that is. Maybe I need to upload more GTA or maybe it's just a rough patch. It's not too big a deal anyway. Ellie, you're lucky that your walls aren't bleeding and the tumor behind the fireplace begins to reveal itself. <laughs> I don't really know what that's a reference to. Is Red Dead better than GTA? Uh, two different games really. It's a bit like saying, um, is a pizza better than pasta? You know, they're just it's two different things. People start getting defensive and all with politics. Exactly, like, I mean, for everyone that says, oh, blue lives matter, there's going to be one person who hates that. Or for everyone who says uh, black lives matter, then there's going to be someone getting angry as well. It, it's just better to just... I'm not saying, like, no one's allowed to say anything, but I try not to get drawn into any politics. I'm not perfect, occasionally I can, but I try to just stay out of it. It's, it's never usually a good <laughs> it's never usually a good direction to bring the chat into. See I've already got someone saying, please don't put that crapping here. Like it's better it's better to just, you know just keep it a politics free zone if you can. What's your kind of music? Uh Honestly, I listen to all sorts of different stuff. Look, like, I'm not really tied down to any particular genre or anything like that. Twenty nine watching. That's not too bad. Now, where was I before this all conked out? I'm, I'm really surprised that it didn't, the stream itself didn't go down. That Sparrow kill on the Mark II yesterday was nuts. Yeah, I had no idea what happened the first time I went there. I was just like, wait, what? How did he die? Who did that? And <laughs> it's like, it's just, oh, I killed him? Now, how, how did that work? But like, I didn't realize I'd um, chopped him up at first. I'm getting something on my metal detector. Is it over here? That bull can get kind of angry and bonk you about if you're not careful, so... i best be careful of that. We've got Hazuki here. Hi, Hazuki. Welcome to the stream. So if my uh, voice is a little weak for stream as well, usually I'd have a bit more you know, videos to work on and things that I would uh, be using my voicing over the weekend. This week though I've just been so focused on just one or two things of the editing, I've been taking all my time, 
Getting a little too absorbed into them, to be honest. Once I've got them over with, though, then I can get back on track with my other stuff. What's your horse's name? Uh, it's not the most creative name. It's uh, New New Hunter. I've also got Hunter, Hunter 2, another Hunter, New Hunters, just stuff like that. Basically, they're all called Hunter, really. Which is uh, the Apache helicopter in GTA. Did I give it the wrong food? Classic oatcakes, right? Drunk driving is a constitutional right. I get a press for being a gamer and doing epic uh, gaming things. It's not the end of the world regarding subs. I'm nearing 200 so far. It's slowly but steadily rising. The fun is why I do videos, not for personal gain. Yeah, it, um, it is a little concerning because it's a very uh, it's a very stark drop from like you know 2,000 down to. 400 <laughs> but it's sort of uh, whatever really as long as it's not wait why can't I pick that up as long as it's not you know on a sort of big dive downwards like losing subs rapidly then I'm not too bothered as long as it's just slowly steadily growing and it's all all right I'm guessing your internet flickered for a second, but considering streams are made to keep going after buffering, they recovered pretty quick. I'm glad it didn't uh, get too messed up. Fifth day into C virus. I don't even say the name because I heard they um they're a bit funny about people mentioning it on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty rough. You can't taste anything. Yeah, what's up, Project? Sorry about being in your streams recently. I've been working. I oh, know that's fine, Captain. I've been. I haven't had time for a lot of the usual things. Like I'd love to be on people's YouTube videos more. You know, watching them. Uh, even just talking to friends, I haven't been around as much because I've just been working so hard on some stuff lately. It should pay off, though. Even if it doesn't get a load of views, it's going to be a really nice video when it's done. Pretty sure I had COVID not long ago. Ah oh, shit, I mean, I mean C-virus. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people who said they had you know, really nasty cold. Where is this collectible? I can feel my controller. Ah, oh, there it is. Your stream did a seamless switching <laughs> to offline and then back online. Mine's name is Pickles. Name it Bob. <laughs> Pavel would be a heroic name for the horse. I might have to get a horse called Pavel now, now that you've put that in my mind. But Eliza here. Uh, hi, Eliza. Moto Miners is getting a remake. J4 Studios announced it and has shown models, textures, and gameplay. It'll be in the Unreal Engine 4. Yeah, unfortunately, when you bought me Murder Miners, it didn't uh, work. It was region locked. Quite a that happens a lot of the time when you try to give people games it's really stupid they should actually you know warn the person buying it that it's not going to work but that's microsoft for you i suppose dragono says i'm needed elsewhere for a while i'll try to be back later i know that's fine dragono yeah that's just how it is sometimes you know you gotta pop in for a second or sometimes you can't even make it it's, you know it's all all right we've got iceman uh, hi iceman He's uh, very heroic. Captain says I work Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes Saturdays and even got classes also besides Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, that sounds very busy. God, I can't wait until I've sort of got on top of all the stuff I'm working on and then I'm not, you know, spending every other second working on editing and subtitling and just getting stuff done. And don't get me wrong, like, I quite like to, you know, you know, I, I try to always be doing something with a channel. 
but when you're just sort of swamped to stuff to do it can get a little overwhelming and you've just got no time for anything it's yeah now you can eat the food you don't like a taste of and get the nutrition out of it all i lost 125 pounds like that and then i got the oh, anytime that i get a cold just a standard cold my appetite completely goes and then then i'm able to you know i lose like a ton of weight over it i hate having i hate being sick right, for that they tend to hit me pretty hard Will you ever do streams of Gilly? I don't think our time zones would work out very well for that. See, for me, his streams would be very late at night, you know, sort of like two in the morning kind of times, probably later even. And I can't really be chatting at the top of my voice at that time. You know, I can't keep everyone up. It's just, yeah, it doesn't really work out. Maybe though, if he's ever sort of streaming in the daytime, then it's a little bit different. Kalkla says he had bronchitis in basic. Ah, that must have been rough. Made in a metal says, says he's cool as horse Eddie or Beasel though. Let me see what ones of these have I got. That one could be a bit awkward. Woods. Usually I give him tiny little animals. Do you need something? Where is Madame Nazar today? I'm not really sure. You should play totally accurate battlegrounds, aka tabs. It's super fun and they had an update a little bit ago that you can do multiplayer and make your own units. I'll uh, have to look into it. We've got Da says, hey, hey, uh, hi, Da. I named my horse Jeff the dog, so your horse's names aren't that bad. <laughs> Calling a horse a dog is a little, uh, <laughs> it's a bit strange. <laughs> Georgia says, I shot. Three Mark II griefers of their bikes in 15 minutes and my laser, hell yeah. Ah, you're doing uh, God's work there. <laughs> God, I, I hate the broomstick. You know what I'm hoping? Is that maybe these remasters, thanks to you know, not having the broomstick around, that might really, you know, people might say, you know, I'm so glad to have something without that. And, you know, they might sell well. And maybe that will sort of convince Rockstar that, you know, hey, maybe there's a market for not having all this really goofy stuff and space cannons blowing everyone up from nowhere. You never know it. I've, I've seen it happen with other games. Like a Resident Evil, a while back, that was just getting more and more action-packed. And a lot of people were, uh, you know, just, yeah, I mean, it was reasonably fun, but it just wasn't the same. Then they did a load of remasters uh, of the old games and those took off really well because people were kind of starved for the old style. And then the next, just before you know it, you know, the next few games along are suddenly back to that. So you never know. Hold on, let me catch up. They gave you a bunch of pills and put you in COVID quarantine. Uh, I'm so sick of this uh, COVID stuff. I, it'd be great when that, you know. Unfortunately, it'll probably be here forever, though. Or at least a few hundred years or something. Like, I don't really see it going away anytime soon. Would be nice if it just fizzled out, though, and just was gone for good. <laughs> Big Mexican says he's... Uh, off work for a week until he's clear of symptoms. Just had someone run me over. He soon left the session. Nah. I hate when people just, you know, do something and they just leave immediately. It's like, uh, you know, it's like, oh, you just got a slight hint of, you know, having something fun going on and then they're, they're just gone immediately. But 
is uh, peaches or Is an opponent taking a break for yourself? Oh, definitely, yeah. Vishwanath Akil Kandaguri says, Heli Chan. Uh, thanks, Vishwanath. Brooks says, I haven't seen Madame Nazar in a while. Uh, kind of sad because she was my favorite. Mamma Mia is north for Valentine near Window Rock. Oh, God, I hate that location. <laughs> Thank, thanks for telling me. But yeah. That place, I always end up like falling off the cliffs and it's just such an awkward one to get. I'll probably pay her a visit though. Yeah, I know exactly which uh, location that is. Georgia says heroic pilotism, practice makes perfect. I need to fly more in GTA myself. I just got so tired of being you know, bogged down with the broomsticks while in my helicopter. But, yeah, there's only so much drones and guided missiles that people can take before they want, you know, aircraft again. Steven says he survived a uh, sea virus as well as Ebola. Ebola is a really, really nasty one. As I understand it, a hell of a lot worse than that. C virus, so I'm surprised you got through that one. That's like a <laughs> and you're, you're pretty much up there with like bubonic plague at that point. So that might be worth getting to Crips. It's wishful thinking, yeah, I don't suppose it's going away anytime soon. Still want a wheelchair oppressor. COVID sucks, yeah. Tell me about it, it sucks. <laughs> Vehicles I want to see gone in GTA, Mark II, the Luxo Scamjet, Mark I, and the Arena War Future Cars. If I had my pick of everything that could be gone, I don't know what I'd pick. But the Mark II would definitely be gone. This, let's, let's just put it that way, so there's uh, no doubt. It would, it would no longer exist. Let's just put it that way. You've got uh, Minky Minx. Uh, hi, Minky Minx. So, I'm sorry I missed your stream the other day. I'll try catch the next one, though. I did have a little look at the, you know, I sort of played it back. Uh, hopefully I can be there next time. She does streams herself, so uh, go check her out after the channel's done. Cockler says, have I ever considered a Fallout New Vegas playthrough? It's on Game Pass, very strong recommendation from me. I have played it before, but I don't think I've completed it. So maybe one of these days I will, uh, go back to it and complete it and make a playthrough for it. A moped oppressor. <laughs> uh, I've seen a few little things for that, like uh, mock-ups. DNF Dead says just drop by to drop a like. Uh, thanks DNF Dead. Oh, my voice is a uh, little sore already and it's only been about an hour. I'll, I'll still keep going now. We've got Wicked. Uh, hi Wicked. Selesaurus is considering that one. Oh, oh Christ, sorry. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what is that? Considering there weren't any planes around this time, we have to call her sexuality rather asexual. The Mark II makes sense. so many vehicles unusable. Yeah, I hate the Mark II. 
even even when it comes to grinding, right, I'm not going to be all funny about people who happen to use one because, you know, plenty of people use one. But I don't see it as just, oh, you've, oh, you've got to have it for grinding. There's plenty of other stuff that will do practically the same kind of job, you know, without ruining a game for everything else. It just makes everything boring as well. Like, you know, you've just got something that never really fails. There's no, you can't really fall off it. It's just, ah, everything about it just sucks. Oh, well, I was reading a chat and I almost fell off a cliff. New Vegas starts a little slow. If you try it again, I'd say make it to New Vegas in-game, then decide if you're enjoying it. Yeah, I think I made it quite far last time. I don't really remember why I stopped. I think, to be honest, there was a lot going on at the time, I think. I might give it another go at some point, though. Inky Minx says, don't worry, Heli, it wasn't a usual stream. Please don't judge me on that one. Oh, no, I, I won't. I, I only got to play back like a few minutes of it anyway. I'll, uh, de I'll definitely try joining you for your next one, though. Little Potato recommends Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and Episode 2. It's on Xbox One. But if you want to play Half-Life Alex, it's uh, VR exclusive. Would that mean it's only on PC or... I'm not sure why they don't allow VR on their Xbox yet as well. Because they had it on like a PlayStation 4 with Resident Evil 7. Personally, I don't know if I like the look of VR. It looks... Uh, it doesn't really look like it's there yet. I mean, strapping a screen to your eyes, it's still... It's still not going to really feel like you're there, but... I don't know why the option isn't there anyway for Xbox. No matter what vehicle you take out, griefers will still be griefers. Yeah, but they'll be a hell of a lot less uh, capable with that. And, you know, they'll actually be vehicles that they have to somewhat figure out how to use properly as well. And the average helicopter that takes me out doesn't last more than a... Well, I was going to say more than a minute, but it's more like... They don't really last more than 30 seconds, and that's being kind of generous. Sorry, Ellie, I've got to drop out of the stream. See you next stream. And that's no problem as a place. Uh, thanks for dropping by anyway. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not judging anyone who uses it or anything. I'm just saying I, I hate the vehicle, really. It just... It... I mean... What, what is there to say about it, really? I, I just don't like it. It, you know, it ruins so many other vehicles. And it's just so... You know, there's just there's nothing to it. It's just, yeah. Nitrix just uploaded now. I've got to binge watch a few of his videos at some point. I've been really behind because I've been working so hard on stuff. I, I like his videos though, so I've got to catch up soon. Pretty much use them up to exclusively for special cargo. Oh, don't get me wrong, I mean, it is good for grinding, but, like, there's plenty of other stuff that will do a really similar job. She's around here, isn't she? That might have been given a bomb location. Alright, uh, hold on a minute, just catching up in a chat. We'll find a crash before even starting. The Sparrow is actually exactly what the Mark II looks like to grinders, plus it's a quicker cooling than an extra C, plus more maneuverable, no excuse to use the Mark II. Alright, I'm going to let Cockler have a little rant about the Mark II, because right now, uh, I don't know, I, I, and my mind's a little blank for it at the moment, so let's get Cockler in here and he can, uh, 
he'll, he'll, he'll sort of represent me as it in regards to the Mark II. Where is he? Where's Cutler? I use a Toreador and Night Shark more than a Mark II. They last longer. Yeah. Godmo players are everywhere. Oh, yeah, Godmo players are everywhere. All right, I'll be Heli's defendant today in court uh, on the subject of the Mark II. All right, so here's the thing with the Mark II, right? Firstly, take transportation. I'm just going to break this thing down. Okay, because the problems go way deeper than the missiles. See, everybody wants to nerf the Mark II by just getting rid of the missiles, right? But you still have a fundamental problem. This thing's too easy to get around on, right? Say, you've seen those videos where, or the memes or whatever where people will be like, you know, uh, get in the fucking car in a GTA and just turn on a station, just listen to music and enjoy yourself, right? Because even the small engage engagement of moving uh, driving around in a vehicle is still fun right driving a car listening to music is fun flying a plane around is fun flying a helicopter around is fun all the, these three things just baseline are fun because there's a very slight challenge to it this very slight i have to pay attention or i'm going to crash that doesn't apply to the mark ii like try and fly around drive around in the mark ii and listen to music and vibe out you can't because it's so easy it's literally minecraft creative mode right so in terms of transportation, it's already busted because it's so easy to just get around on. You can get through tight spaces. You literally just Minecraft creative mode. Then it comes to the weapons, right? The weapons, we already know how the missiles work because almost nothing can dodge them. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, you can't dodge them. And the thing is, right, this game pisses you off all the time. So you pretty much just have this instant, oh, I'm annoyed. Let me call in this death bike that can kill everything around me. Like, it just completely feeds off of, like, the freaking, like, short stimulus retardation of, like, every GTA player that just gets angry at like nothing um, and you can just call it in really quickly like on the street next to you or you can just call it in normally if you don't want to like wait for the five minute cooldown or just put it in a garage um, yeah and in just terms of the vehicle meta like it just makes so many things redundant like it makes all of helicopters redundant um, unless you really know what you're doing armored vehicles redundant pretty much the only thing that can kill it are like two cars maybe in a speeding fighter jet or the Mark II's alright uh, I rest my case um, uh, I'll, 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 uh, 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 Alright, bye, Hallie. Enjoy the stream. Alright. <laughs> Alright. That pretty much... You see, my mind was way too blank to really get all that out. But yeah, that pretty much sums up how I feel about a Mark II. I needed it a hell of a lot faster than I, I could have been sat here about 20 minutes. But yeah, exactly all of that. I'm trying to catch up with a chat. <laughs> I'll catch up with a chat. Do I know who the professional is or Pyro Gaming? I know both of them, yeah. Sarah Graphics says, Sally, I gotta go. It's been fun chilling. Take care and enjoy the rest of your stream, everyone. Uh, thanks, Sarah. It's uh, been great having you here. Bill Potato says, I think you accidentally unadded me as a friend. Oh no, I've got to turn my mic off on game. Not that I know of. I'm pretty sure I added you um, last stream. You know, you sent a message and I added you. As far as I can tell, I didn't unadd you. I do appear offline all the time though, so maybe that's what you're talking about. Mark 2 is the easiest in state jets out of the air with if you can free aim missiles. Just calculate your anger. Translator. Uh, Pretty much, yeah. Still attack planes and heli don't belong in GTA. It's it's in the title. I don't know that it's in the title really. And I have had them since since what? Since Vice City they had the Apache in there. And that's going back twenty about twenty years, yeah. I'm pretty sure they were gonna have helicopters in GTA 3, but it just didn't quite, yeah, it didn't quite pan out. They might have even had a basic uh, hunter for that, but it got caught. Or uh, don't quote me on that, because I'm not a hundred percent sure. They did have a plane without wings that could fly a little bit in that game. As far as I can tell, it's not been a broomstick for a long time. It's a jetpack in San Andreas. 
at least that's a little bit more ingrained in sort of people's psyche, I suppose. You know, what with James Bond and pretty much everyone, you know, knows where Jetpack is, even going back into like the 70s or thanks to that. But this broomstick, it just looks goofy and I, I just don't like it, you know? Yeah, Cochler, Cochler's gonna be my lawyer. If I ever get into trouble, I'm getting Cochler on my case. Why is your name Chocolate Stain? Possibly a fin in the past. Ah, uh, no, I just thought it sounded pretty funny, honestly. It's a bit of a lame uh, explanation, but some things are really that simple. We've got Marionette Doll. Uh, hi, Marionette Doll. So good to have you here. Georgia says I got called a jet loser by everyone who failed to take me out of my jet. Hold on a minute. Just gonna feed the fit boy. I will gladly take up mental as Helly's anger translator and take any party invite as being cool to the job. <laughs> yeah, he did that. I couldn't have done that. Even if I wrote a script, I wouldn't have pulled it off that well. It was uh, basically exactly what I had on my mind. If it's possibly the reason, but when you went down your friends list to invite Cochler, my name starts with a B, so it should have been before Cochler, since it's some online, you know. I don't remember not, you know, de-adding you or... Where, where are you? Hold on. If it has disadded you, I really have no idea why it's done that. Bull potato. This one's you, right? Change friendship? So no, no, no. I do have you added. It's because it it says you're appearing offline, so that must be why it puts you down in the list if you're offline. I will never give up my Mark II, but I only use my Minx the oppressive powers for good. Oh, and I'm the best, so... You get a pass, Minky Minx. You get a pass. You know, I, I give passes to uh, quite a few people. Is an old account of yours would be called a Lemonade Stain? The Thick Boy feasts. The Thick Boy has to keep up his physique. If Ellie was very famous, you'd probably see Cochler as his bodyguard. Step back, please. Okay, let's get some more down the Thick Boy. Okay, I'm done filming for school now. Oh, what's that you've got going on at school? Filming, that sounds pretty interesting. Can I eat the corn or I think I have to feed it to the horse? Yeah, I've been looking into uh, recording a lot lately, like hey. microphones, that Good kind morning. of thing. <laughs> Once you jump down the rabbit hole, it can get pretty complicated pretty fast though. And, and expensive and just not very convenient. But I have been looking into it a lot. So, you know, just, just stuff I can do to make the channel better, really. I'm, I'm trying to just sort of constantly be improving it. Wicked says, I tried to play Red Dead a couple of days ago and holy crap, there's a posse of 300 for killing everyone in saint -Denis. I never really come across anyone these days. I mean, you've seen in my streams, they're practically empty most of the time. And the ones I do are more or less just away from their controllers. We've got Django. Uh, hi, Django. He's a green alien in the chat. Oh, rank 300. It's not posse 300. <laughs> I thought the posse was a bit large. Um. Chano is, I would never again buy the Mark II. If I did, it's getting explosive cannons and only explosive cannons. Explosive cannons is a different story. Yeah, 
I've just said it to also right to there while I uh, read the chat. Gonna have to get on the road first. Get that out in case I get past any treasure. And also the map, so if, I'll see if anything pops up out of the corner of my eye. All right. Chocolate Stay 9 is short term for poo pants in a ninth power, except for chocolate is more interesting sounding. Roberto Norambuena says greetings from Chile. Uh, thanks, Roberto. Mark 2 is only used for grinding when I'm on. I'm gonna go, got some zombies to decapitate back on, on, on Back for Blood. Take care, Heli, and everyone else. Maiden has left for chat. Uh, thanks for staying around, Maiden. It's uh, been good to have you. I film stuff for a class video, you film and edit. I'm making a spooky segment and a documentary where I prove Ohio doesn't exist. Yeah, I used to toy around with uh, video editing when I was young. Not that I'm like massively old now, but <laughs> you know. Reverse is heroic. AC 503 says next time you play Ace Combat, you have to try the pulse lasers. I did try some kind of laser thing at one point, but I'm not very accurate with them at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to practice those. Whenever you end a stream early, I'm gonna go to McDonald's and get 40 piece McNuggets since my sister and parents left for playoffs 30 minutes ago. I, yeah, I don't really drink or smoke, but one thing I do is I eat. Um, <laughs> I'm not like massively thick or anything, but yeah, I do like to eat. <laughs> Mondo Kabalzo says, all right, Heli, I'll get on your next stream, hopefully. You're the only person who stream I watch. I'm going to go. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, Mondo. Uh, it means a lot. Moijam, 1980s Who, says, so, so, how it feels today? Pretty good. My voice is a little weak. Like, I can feel it going a little, but not too bad. I think it's because I didn't really get to... Usually, I would record bits of playthroughs for other games over the weekend. So I'd, you know, be talking for a couple of hours each day. I haven't been able to do that. I've been, you know, so focused on editing this one thing. So that, it's, it's getting a bit disruptive, really, that one video I'm working on. But sooner or later, I'll be on top of it. Did Heli say he was old? Honestly, sometimes you can start to feel old in the in a gaming community. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-five. The more I, you know, I hear about people younger than me all the time now. <laughs> and I'm not really used to it. Just a couple of years ago, I was always younger than everyone, and now it's starting to change a bit. There's still quite. A f there's still people a lot older than me though. People call me the Django. What do people call you for short? Project, Project Telly, Kelly Sex, Sexuality, Sex. Um, usually Project, sometimes Project Telly, and often Heli as well. You probably use the TAC laser. I'm not too sure. Food is life, literally. Heli with a dad bod. Oh, 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 it fell off. 25 isn't that old. Yeah, I know, but in the like, uh, gaming terms, you you know, you get lots of people very young. Good 58 likes. Uh, thanks to the likes, everyone. And a decent amount of people watching as well. I'm still waiting for my dad's for two kids, nothing showing. Hold on, just trying to figure out where this is, sort of controller vibrations. Um, I had it a moment ago. I could feel the controller vibrating, but I've lost it now. Maybe further this way. I've heard the ladies call him Rota Daddy. <laughs> That's going to have to be uh, one of my nicknames now. Oh, I had it. I could feel it vibrate. Oh, fuck, move. 
Feel it vibrating now. Right. Now I'm closing in on it. Yeah, it's around here. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I'm glad you are well. I wish you a great day. Uh, thanks, Moi Jam. It seems like the type of fella to say cannonball and plug his nose before plunging into a pool. <laughs> Brian Emmons says they call me six. I'm nearly 40 and you say you're old. I, I, I'm not saying I'm old, like, it's just so many people, you know, younger in that sort of gaming community. Then again, there's people, there's plenty of people, you know, older than me or my age as well. Let's see, how many maps do I have left? Citadel Rock, I forget where that, I think that one's way up. I think I'm closer to that one. Well, video's over now, bye fellas. Is it? Oh, 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 oh wait, sorry, I, I thought you meant like, oh, my stream had ended for a minute, I was a little uh, concerned there. Yeah. Uh, thanks for staying by, Cherno. I wonder how Einstein's children felt about some guy pulling out their father's brain. Probably not very good. I, did he have children? Um, let me think for a minute. No, I, I don't like the way when people die, you know, they, they just fuck around with people's bodies and dig them up and that kind of thing. Even if it is, you know, some really sort of historical you know, person or whatever, it's, you know, just leave, leave their bodies alone, you know. Brian Emmons is 41. Mar Vinyl says 45 years old and still enjoy gaming. Oh, yeah, I plan on keeping on doing it as uh, long as I can. <laughs> I respect the dedication, you're still playing this. Yeah, it's, it's funny, this game is kind of old-ish now. And 2008, well, not really old, but you know what I mean. Like, it, I still think of it as over, oh, like, that brand new game, but it's been out for, like, three years now, and they just still haven't really done barely anything with it. I would post funny images if it let me. I, oh, Cabbage, Cabbage, why don't you tease the, uh, the special video? Keep it very vague, but give them something to tease it with. Tell at least tell them how how good it is, because I've been I've been going on about oh, I've been working on this video so hard. I need someone to sort of attest to how heroic and how funny this video is. Kukla says I met a seventy-year-old man on the division once. He was really cool. Well, honestly, I mean, if you're still enjoying the stuff, I don't really see why you should have to stop just because you hit a certain age or. Now, your reactions would slow down a lot. Uh, I've already noticed that from when I was like a teenager, I, you know, I was quicker. I, but you know, you just sort of adapt a bit, you, adding a few more heroic things to your gameplay instead, rather than relying on, you know, being ultra fast. The Star Wars sequel suck, change my mind, Raiders and Zell to be a Skywalker. I'm not really into Star Wars, so I wouldn't really know. Kukla says, Heli, I've seen you do horrid things to dead bodies in Red Dead. I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah, I am a bit guilty of that. Well, I mean, we cooked the cat, we cooked the cat on that other stream. The Rockstar devs haven't touched it, so much wasted potential. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, like, three years and... This is almost the same as it was when it launched, really, the online, online side of it. I wish GTA Online voice chat was like old Xbox Live voice chat. Yeah, I find that GTA Online voice chat has never worked for me on Xbox One. Like, not once. It just, it never comes through. I don't know why. It did for 360, but it hasn't on all of Xbox One. It hasn't on Series X. Maybe they'll fix that on the expanded and enhanced. Don't hold out a lot of hope. Although it does work on this game, which just makes it even more weird, to be honest. Fun fact. 
Driftwork says he's back. All right, hold on. I'm going to go swimming with the gators at the moment. Oh. Get up, would you? Why, why would you go that slow when you're being chased by an alligator? Like They always pick the most awkward places to put these maps in, the treasure. Oh, let me read the chat. Albert Einstein has three children, two sons and a daughter. Me to Hurley grow old playing video games. Forcey is nothing. Why do people these days call themselves old when they're clearly not? What does that say about a relationship towards aging? Well, I didn't really call myself old. I just mean, like, in comparison to, like, a lot of uh, people playing right now. Where the fuck is this thing? I, I can't find it. Cucklers, uh, I'm interested in the special video. I think we might have to let Cuckler in on the special video, Cabbage. Maybe just that one person. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what Cabbage says. Because we kind of had a pact to, like, you know, not say anything about it until it's out. But I don't know how long Cuckler will still be around. And he definitely needs to see that. So maybe... What kind of car you got? Uh, I don't actually have a car. Your reactions can be excellent as long as you train them. Yeah, that's the thing. I kind of dropped the ball a lot on that. I sort of stopped being as interested in playing on foot and did more uh, helicopters and stuff, which tends to not be quite so twitchy. Did they have to put it right next to him? Right, I'm going to have to get rid of him. Didn't want to, but... Cuckler forgot about the cat. Hey, Deanie, says I, uh, hi, hey, Deanie. And if you press D-pad up while aiming your gun, you can point it at the sky. Oh, I remember that. I don't know if it will scare off an alligator or not. I might as well skin him and get his teeth. Georgia says, I made friends with heroic terabyte users. Uh, that sounds very uh, wholesome and heroic, actually. It says like video material, to be honest. Out of curiosity, Hilly, what's your great grandfather's half cousin, stepdaughter's social security number? Jose Martin says, I'm scared of getting old and have slower reaction times. To be fair, there is, like someone was saying a moment ago, if you, you can sort of practice them to keep them quicker, but I kind of fell out of practice a bit. Oh. I'll be back in a chat in one moment. Just going to go for a bit of a swim. I hear people on Xbox in GTA. Sometimes it sounds like they don't realize it. Yeah, I I never I haven't since since um since I got an Xbox One, the old original base model of it. I've never you know it's never worked for me unfortunately. Stephen Freeman drives a 1963 Ferrari GT250. Where is that? I can hear a collectible somewhere. that it? Maybe it's an egg in a tree or something. Oh, it's getting louder and louder. I just can't quite see it. Oh, oh, oh. Cardinal flower. The Secret is about as fun as the comic book version of the Bible. The Secret is uh, life-changing, to be honest. And one, one day you will all see The Secret once I'm done subtitling it and editing it. What's the story behind the name Chocolate Stain? Uh, no real story, I just thought it sounded pretty funny. Cuckler says he wants to be surprised as long as it comes out before I'm gone again. He leaves on the 30th. If I can't get it done in that time, I will... Uh, I will... 
give you the link to it, to like the raw version of it. And hopefully I can get it done, but it it is very hard work. I'm subtitling the entire thing, and that is a ridiculous job, to be honest. It's a huge, huge amount to do with that. But I might be able to get it done. I am working very hard on it, so you never know. I'm not joking about that, by the way. There's a comic book version of a Bible called the Action Bible that is terrifying. Bull Potato says, so you're VTubing? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't really... I'm not really familiar with that uh, term, VTubing. Isn't that... Uh, is that something to do with Twitch or... But yeah, the video that I've been working on whew, is going to be uh, a very special one. A lot of people, unfortunately, won't check it out just because it's Red Dead, which is a real shame because they're missing out. But it, it's not really about what happens in the gameplay so much. It's the party, the chat that I get into. It is... I think people are going to like it. I'll just leave it at that. Calculus is I prefer for manga. George has said something, but it's retracted. VTubing is when you use a 3D model and motion capture as your live feed during a stream. Um, I, I don't suppose I do do that, really. Although... No, I... George says I got a Torridor snipe while they're boosting in water. That sounds really pretty stylish, actually. You gotta make sure you've got that recorded. Yeah, there's a part of me that wants to, you know, spoil the video for everyone right now, but I really shouldn't do it until it's released. All I'm saying is just remember that. Yeah, I don't know when it's coming out yet. But there is something very special coming out at some point. I don't know when. Could be a long time. I've got a lot of work to do. But And when it does come out, just know that I've spent countless hours on that. Doing the subtitles. Incredible pain in the ass. But it will be worth it. Do you think the Hydra is a good jet? Um, it can be. All uh, depends on the situation, really. It's fast. It's got that in its favor. It's not really going to beat a lot in a turning fight, but sometimes you don't need that. Where is this thing? It's going to be here, isn't it? Ah, now here it is. What's your favorite type of potato? Um, uh, what do you, I mean, there's just potatoes, isn't there? Please let us all know when it comes out. I definitely might become a member for that one. Oh, well. I'm going to try, when I know it's ready for release, I'm going to try and hype it up as much as I can before I do. Because I think it deserves a lot of views. I think it, you know, I'm pretty humble about things usually. I'll just say, it. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't big up my videos as, oh, this is fantastic. This is, you're great. You know, it's, but this one, I'm just going to go out and say it deserves like a million views. It's not going to get them, but it does deserve them. So I'm going to promote it as much as I can because the stuff in that is just 
you, you're probably never going to come across it in, uh, in Red Dead or GTA. I doubt I will ever again. It was a very, uh, <laughs> a very special party chat is one way to put it. I was in my Torador driving around, boosted over this hill, then heard lock on and missiles flying past me as I, f I flew through the air. Uh, I'm guessing a uh, ghost of Mark II is on your back then. iPhone or Android? You mean like which one should you get? I couldn't really tell you. I don't have a I don't have an iPhone or an iPad, so I can't really compare the two. If you're going for video editing I guess you should probably get a PC. Everyone advises me to get one. I'm just, you know, I'm pretty tight with things. Plus, I don't, I don't have a huge amount of space. The main thing that puts me off getting a PC for video editing and, well, tons of other stuff I could do, really, is just from, in my experience, they just tend to have so many problems all the time. You know, they get bogged down. They have there's always something that breaks that you've got to fix or some problem you've got to sort out whether it's software or hardware to be fair the things I used before were old ancient old things that were really you know they were that they, they weren't they were they should have been put to rest really rather than still being used so I guess if I got a flashy new computer it might have less problems But yeah, at the moment I just use a Android tablet. I've got pretty far with it. The Hydra is a horrible dogfighter against every plane in the game except for the Starling. The Hydra overall is meant for ground targets. Pretty much, yeah. Although, you can use the superior speed against uh, a Starling as well as a B-11 actually. Because, you know, if you they can't, they can't keep up with you if you're, you know, careful about it. Low tier GTA, the Hydra is good. High tier GTA, the Hydra is bad. God tier GTA, the Hydra is amazing. I mean, Kalkler is very knowledgeable, so I would go with what Kalkler says. It's... It... I mean, there's a few there's a few ways to look at it. One, there's uh, using VTOL in the middle of a dogfight. That can be very hard to pull off. But if you manage it, you can get some really nice flashy kills like that. The other thing is just raw speed. You know, it's faster than a laser. It's faster than a... You know, much faster than a Starling. Faster than a B-11. There's a lot you can just outrun and, you know, just keep, just stay out of their reach until their back's turned and then you get to attack. They can't really choose when the fight starts, if you know what I mean. So it's hard to put it into words properly. It, it has its uses, just put it that way. Like a lot of people just write it off immediately because it can't turn well. And don't get me wrong, when it comes to a traditional sort of, you know, just turning fight, who can turn sharper, the laser's going to be it hands down every day, but there are some certain situations where you can have a little fun with a Hydra. Reminder that if you break the pact, I would kill us both, Ellie. Alright, I'm sworn to secrecy, so that only gets released when it's ready. Incredible how high your honor is. Me personally, I find it very hard to restrain from atrocities committed in mass, especially in this game. Sometimes when like the NPCs are rude to me or like, oh, get out the way, I'll, I'll just pull out a gun and just shoot them straight in the head immediately. But I don't do too much, actually. 
Yeah, I, I won't break the pact. When I'm closer to releasing it, though, I might put out some, you know, tiny little teaser videos just to hype it up, like, say, 10 seconds of something or the other. But only when it's, you know, ready for releasing. As it is, I'm not going to... My lips are sealed on it. My problem with flying is that I'm used to it with a gamepad, but then you really can't focus on your enemy and lose sight of them, which is a huge disadvantage. Uh, Stephen Freeman is playing Pancake with a gold mode player. Hydra sliding and the speed glitch make it arguably one of the best of free mode, far better than the laser. You know, in, in these certain situations and using these tricks, you know, it can do some stuff. Oh, we've got Fredo Piano. Uh, hi, Fredo Piano. I think I've got the chat arguing about Hydras and uh, other jets now in GTA. I don't fight more Mark IIs than aircraft. That's another thing, like, usually you're not really going to have to worry about an enemy laser these days. There's not that many of them around. And if there is, and you don't think you can beat it with a Hydra, you could always just use an explosive sniper on it. Um, Mark IIs are generally what you've got going around all the time. And the Hydra can deal with them all right. So what's been happening apart from our Hydra stuff? I've been teasing a video I've been working on. Mainly just because I've been working on it so hard. You know, I want to show people it, but there's a long way to go still, unfortunately. I'm out of treasure maps, as far as I can tell. What daily challenges? Oh, a little bit lost in the menus. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Not that one. Ugh. Right, daily challenges, yeah. Alright, our visits underneath. Well, uh... No idea where she is still. In a 1v1, it's hard between a B11 or Starling for free mode, they all have their uses. Instead of World War II being in 1939, what do you think the outcome would look like if it was in 2021? Nope. Um, <laughs> uh, it's kind of a difficult question. Well, I mean, there's so many different aspects of that you'd have to consider. For one, you'd have to, I suppose, Japan would probably be in a different sort of position. They might not uh, go along with them, so that could change things. Um, I, don't, I, just, I don't really think it would be possible to have that in 2021. I mean, Germany isn't exactly the same as it was back then. Uh, you, you could write a book about that or how that would go. Wait, wait. I swear I set a marker and it's just disappeared. Yeah, right, there we go. See, as long, if I just visit there, I, I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is just set foot in a town then yeah, I'll get the daily challenge and get a little extra XP so it's just a easy little one to go on with they should have more World War 2 planes to a game honestly it feels like it's been a while since we had some aircraft I suppose we have the stealth annihilator not that long ago but generally it's not exactly that uh what would you call it? Uh, capable, I suppose. Where have they gone off? 
Ah, uh, I thought they were um, the quail because those are higher value. Reject manned aircraft, embrace drones. Oh, I've been embracing drones since the uh, moment GTA had them. That last message sent before I finish it, by the way, but have you been keeping a lookout for discounted Subnautica? I have. The past few days I've been a little distracted and busy with editing, but I do check every now and then. I check the store to see if there's um, you know, any discounts and anything I've got my eye on. I kind of hope they don't add airplanes, hot air balloons, so... Well, airplanes could end up with kamikazes, which might be a problem for a... Uh, might be a problem for... Wait, what am I, wait, am I thinking of Red Dead? Uh, no, so, um, my mind's gone a little blank, sorry about that. I suppose in GTA, the closest thing we've got to a hot air balloon is a blimp. Could be pretty similar to that, it'd be very vulnerable though. <laughs> Still, it could be good fun. I'm trying to get explosive rounds, but I keep getting live freeze. Yeah, that one is a massive grind. Uh, Adrian Hernandez says hi. Uh, hi, Adrian. A Junker JU87 would be awesome. Make it an actual dive bomber too. Still waiting for RC Baron playing in GTA Online. Yeah, we need some RC aircraft. We've got the tank, we've got the car, we've got the guided missile, we've got all these little drones and toys. We need a, you know, we need an RC plane or an RC helicopter or both. Do you need Xbox Live to play this? I'm pretty sure you do, unfortunately. If they ever do a drug type heist, they should add those drug dealer submarines, which has the Akula slash Kasaku stealth radar. Yeah, that could work pretty well. I think what Red Dead Online needs is an Oppressor Mark II. Uh, I don't really agree with that. RC dogfights would be amazing though. One moment, I'm just gonna get a drink. My throat is uh, a little sore at the moment. I'll be alright though. Alright, I'll be back in uh, not very long at all. I don't like riding with trouble. You stay away from me. Thank you. 
All right, chat, I'm back. Let's see what I missed. RC dogfights would be fun. They should be sent off like the drone is too, instead of making a player vanish. But that's the thing, a lot of people suggest that as a nerf to RC vehicles. But personally, I'm not so sure it would be a nerf, really. I mean, it, it, people, I find people are, never really see the drones coming because they think, oh, you're just sitting still. You're, you know, you're, as long as I can see you on the map, oh, you, you couldn't possibly be doing anything. Uh, then, then before they can realize that blown them up the drone. So I wouldn't mind having a having your player sit with a controller instead of being off the map. Now, as long as they don't have like a really bad distance limit or anything. Or... Oh, I meant to wave at him, but now I look kind of sus. Oh, what? Ah, I press charges. I don't know if I can be bothered running after him, though. He might. We'll see if he wants to keep bothering me. Maybe I'll send him a bra. Yeah, I'm not playing running around after him. This is tag. <laughs> That's enough for me. All I was doing was trying to wave at him or do a bow or whatever it was like that. But yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind uh, having the player stay on the map as long as as they could not any really bad distance limit or anything like that. Might as well finish a set and add boats and subs too. I'm not sure how much use they would have, so to be honest, RC versions of them, but I'd be all for it. Why is Project's character's coat doing a dance? Uh, pretty glitchy physics at times, I guess. There been any thought bots recently? Um, not so many, I don't think. We've got Jokers there. Hi, Joker. Yeah, these cups must be huge. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I might get him back at some point, but if I do it right now, it's just gonna, you know, I just end up chasing him around for ages, and that that's not fun. Let's see if he replied. Because if he knows that I'm, you know, after him, he's just gonna, like, you know, he won't, uh, he won't stick around to fight. He'll just... You know, he'll just keep running away. I need to get him when he's not expecting it, I think. Oh, we've got Mr. Foreman. Uh, hi, Mr. Foreman. Mr. Foreman is uh, very heroic. And we've got Capitan Clancy as well. I don't think the RC plane should have a limit in range, but it should make the player exposed. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. We're in a bit, gonna take a shower or have your stream running still. Uh, thanks, Georgia. Hello, senor. Heterosexuality. Uh, I'm not gonna pretend I can say all of that, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't really speak Spanish or many other languages. Um, thanks, so, Modal Scissors. Did I get the daily challenge? Oh, visit a shop. I thought I just had to visit the place in general. Hold on a moment. Oh, 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 oh. I don't 
don't know if this counts as a shop. Evidently not. Uh, no, no worries, there'll be one here. I might join him off the players list when he's not looking and just blast him. But again, gonna catch him off guard because he's probably... What he's done, he'll probably have run off to a shop or something or somewhere he can't be harmed. You know, better wait until he's not expecting it. You've got a new woo from Georgia. Uh, ooh, to you too, Georgia. Hey, what are your thoughts on 420 legalization? Again, I, I try not to get into our political stuff, to be honest. Yeah, let's just whoop his ass, really. <laughs> Hold on a moment. Is he still around? See, now he might not be expecting it. Idle as well. Can I join the game? Ah, uh, oh no, Red Dead Redemption 2 Idle, it doesn't say he's online. Ah, the moment might have passed. Is he still here? I don't think he is. Yeah, we'll check on him a little later and if he's back, or if he's not. It's not a huge deal anyway, I mean it's just a random kill, it doesn't particularly... Yeah, it's not like uh, I had any cargo of me or anything, you know, really valuable. Do you live in USA or United Kingdom? Uh, the United Kingdom. Andres is hi Heli. Uh, hi Andres. My voice ha hasn't been quite up to scratch this stream, so I probably won't be streaming too much longer. Maybe I'll give it like 20 minutes or something like that. I think it's because, like, again, like I was saying earlier, usually I get to do some playthroughs of other games or other stuff that uses my voice over the weekend and this weekend I haven't so much because I've just been busy working on videos so I think that's probably why what's the best pistol uh, couldn't really tell you to be honest And I suppose a lot of that's just sort of personal preference. It's some easy money. Now, I'm not really that bothered about I'm going to set people on, you know, just some random player. You know, I'll give them a quick check before I'm gone, but other than that, yeah, I'm not really going to get too invested in that, it's just a random kill. Tomorrow I have uh, the next part of a Metal Gear playthrough, but I'll also be uploading a little teaser for next Monday's GTA video, because Monday's GTA video is going to be a pretty special one itself actually. It'll be about 23 minutes long, I'm by myself, but I do use my voice, so there's a solo commentary on it, which is the first time I've done that for a GTA video. So, we'll see how that goes out. That's all on... Yeah, that... The teaser for that is on Wednesday, tomorrow. And there's also the next part of a Metal Gear playthrough. Then on Thursday, you've got a GTA stream. Friday, you've got more Ace Combat, and I've got a commentary going on in that as well, so if you want to hear me talk, there's, it's not the best place, because, you know, in that game you tend to just sort of get shouted over by all the dialogue that's constantly running in the background and all the noise, but there's that. Then, uh... Then on Monday is a big GTA video, 23 minutes long, it's commentary, it's pretty nice. 
Hi, Eddie, can you tell me a joke? Uh, what is that, Fernando? I don't really know a whole lot of them, to be honest. Let's see the daily challenges. Are there any more easy ones? I don't think there are any particularly easy ones. Where is um, Madame Nazar? I can't find her. What do you call a short Mexican? Paragraph because it's not big enough to be an essay. Won't be online on Xbox the first day. One day I leave will meet as not foes but allies. Oh, yeah, I know. Hey, Ellie, can you freestyle? What, like rap? Uh, not particularly, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have one last look for. Adam Nazar, the collectibles woman. Don't see her anywhere. Does anyone know where she might be? Shift starts up again soon, got a dip. Ah, uh, that's no problem, Cabbage. Uh, thanks for coming back to the stream anyway. I can't be bothered tracking her down. Tell you what, I'll load up that gun of the explosives and we'll just check on that old uh, villain one more time. If he's not, though, I can't be bothered waiting around for him, you know? It's like just sort of whatever, really. Ah, oh, he's messing around. We'll see what happens. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe we'll just sort of pop something off in the back of his head. Just a quick little kill, you know, before heading off. Where's it going to spawn me? I might have to look around a bit as well. You'll never guess who's back. What, uh, cabbage or? Quick, give me my horse. I need to ride up on him fast before he gets away. So he probably won't be expecting me to come at him now. Oh shit, he went off the map. Did he get away or? He might have rode off or he might have left. Oh no, he was just uh, too far off, I think. Is that him? It's got to be him. Ha ha ha! Yeah, got you. Oh, we had his wagon here as well. Shit, dead. Oh, he's parlayed. He's parlayed. And that's that. <laughs> See that? See what I mean, now? Um, it's typically better to don't run after them straight away because that's what they want. You know, when they get that one kill on you, they want you to chase them around. And, you know, then, then, then you're playing into what they want, really. You, you don't want to be chase. You, you don't want to be following them around and being led to wherever they're going to ambush you or do whatever or keep you waiting while they're in a clothing store or whatever. No, you, you've got to just sort of leave it for a bit and then, you know, just just wait, let them feel safe and then just pop them in the back when you, they're not. <laughs> Fredo Piano's got to go. Uh, thanks for popping by, Fredo Piano. Foreman says I'm burning through my millions, fast tracking research. Yeah, I fast tracked it all a while back. It took forever. Well, no, no, I mean, it took forever. It took a huge amount of money, like easily about 20 million or something. Calcula and Mayo just uploaded videos. I'm going to have to check them both out. 
Any griefing? Oh, no griefing. It was a revenge strike. Yeah, I am going to be going. Like, my voice is, like I was saying earlier, it hasn't held up quite so well this stream. I'll get back in form, though. Once I'm on top of all the editing, then I'll be, you know, recording more playthroughs while I'm talking. And then I won't be, you know, then I, I should be able to go a little bit longer. The white demon has been awakened. I'm looking forward to Thursday's stream. Oh, we've got Miss Georgia as well. I'll stay for like 10 minutes more just in case anyone, uh, you know, any questions or anything. Time to get ready for McDonald's. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, and you should show everyone a funny screenshot I made. Let me find it. You're still streaming? Ah. Oh. Oh, a prostitute stole his mark too. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I made a title for that once, like a, oh, a broomstick hoe or something. I knew, I knew that it would, um, people would be like, what the hell is this? And, <laughs> and it was literally like one of them on the broomstick. By any man in that case, if you have time, I, I will. I'll get to it when I can. I've just been so busy lately. Hope it's good for Thursday stream. Hey, I should be better now that I've you know, been talking again more. See, overall, the weekend and the past few days, I hadn't been using my voice so much, which probably is why it hasn't held up so well this stream. Because, you know, i, I got to keep using it to keep it, uh, keep it all right for long sessions of talking. I'm watching the Mayo stream. Is he streaming right now? Says it doesn't seem like his usual time. And let me, let me think. Yeah, tomorrow is uh, Metal Gear. And also a little, tiny little teaser video for the next GTA video on Monday. And the day after that is GTA stream. Friday is Ace Combat, and then, you know, on the, over the weekend, there's a little break, and Monday, you've got the GTA. GTA is going to be a nice one. I'll keep teasing that through our community posts, because I've got some little images from it. I think people are going to like that one a lot. Anyway, uh... I'm going to head off for now. Thanks everyone for coming by. It was uh, 